our back day second video on this two-tone blue 87 GMC we're gonna start lowering this thing we've gonna got the bed completely off got all the bolts out of the bed both filler necks undone bumpers off all, all the ground straps all the ground straps electrical stuff off so started trying to take these bolts off None of them would come off. They were rusted on there. You know, they got the factory Loctite on there and it's just pain getting them off, so. And this thing's been sitting for a while. It's been held water in here for a while, too. It probably didn't help it rust the bolts on there. So we cut the back four off and that wasn't going that well. So uh, what we ended up doing the front four, we welded nuts on top of the factory bolt heads. We actually got some on here, but we don't want to Like this here is one we cut off and then end up going back to weld the nut on, held them from the top and they finally came off. As you can see all the Loctite that was on there that's... Uh, it looked to me like it don't have enough on it, but... Probably didn't have enough on it, you know, that's why it didn't come off. Yeah, so... So anyway, uh, we'll get the forklift around front here and get this bed off and then get the truck over there and get everything washed and then start lowering it. Come on, that's good. Turn, cut her hawk. Just like that. Yeah, just like that. Bed's off. So. Bed's off. We're gonna get the truck over now and uh, wash the frame and everything off of it. Get everything sprayed down and we'll get ready to lower it. So we're gonna do that.
That's one thing I hate about these old wood. Should be able to say something. What's there to say? It won't come off. I mean, there's not much you can say about that. So we got the frame washed and it looks pretty good actually in my opinion for it being sitting for so long there's still actually paint on it so yeah. even though the bed bolts were hard to get out the frame actually not too bad not too bad rusted it was just the bolts itself so yeah I so it'd be worse than that but. yeah so gonna start tearing this back in down get it lowered So we got the front hangers cut off here. Yeah, had to use a torch, which trained professionals only don't try that at home. You, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know. So, and uh, see this is the new hanger we're going back on here with. And as you can see, this is the difference in height. So this is a three inch, is that three right? Three inch. Uh, straight edge I believe yes yeah, three inch straight edge front hanger so you can see the height difference there from bolt hole to bolt hole so what it does it just takes the leaf spring moves it up higher and turns drops the truck lower and so yeah so we'll be doing that put a two inch drop shackle on here and then that'll from there that'll be the back so yep. send our other video we done on our uh, black 84 GMC we used a two inch Beltec spring hanger. This is a three inch so And we, actually we had to end up pulling the overload out on our 84 So yeah, we went we went a two inch uh, Spring hanger two inch drop shackle and pulled the overload out of it and we're doing a three inch Spring hanger two inch drop shackle and trying to leave the overload in this one. So We'll so, go from there and see how it's setting and then go from there. Here's the part number for these spring hanger drops in case anybody's interested in them for their truck. So.
just like that, the back's done. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, everything went on good as it should have, so. And there's still a pretty good bit of room between the bump stops and the rear end, so it should, shouldn't bottom out. Shouldn't. So, it is a little squatty right now, though, which, just a little bit, but so yeah. Uh, these, these drop shackles, I think they were like, um, they're just two inch eBay drop shackles. Yeah, they're adjustable one to two there. And we set it at two because we're going for five. And there's actually a bed brace that runs right along here, right on top of that shackle. So if you notice, the shackle now sticks up past the frame rail. So you do have to trim that out, which- Yeah, you have to cut about a, five inch section of a bed brace out yeah no big deal yeah it's all good with that so that's gonna wrap the back up yeah that's gonna get the back here we don't have everything to do the front yet so we're still waiting on the rotors and stuff so when we get them in we're gonna do the front so we'll see you with that So we got the driver's side tore down and it was eh, about what you'd expect for a truck that's been sitting for a while so i mean everything was uh you know kind of rusted together kind of hard to get off but this bolt on this brake line is actually stripped 
well not it's not stripped it's like this thing's pressed in and it just sits there and spins so we're gonna have to figure something out with that and I mean, other than that i don't know it's those cotter pins are kind of hard to get out which is like that on all of them just and then they had a bunch of like dirt packed in there around them and stuff so once we got them off it wasn't that bad but something else about these rotors though they have uh, been on this truck for a minute you know that you got the drilled and slotted rotors these kind of you know they self-slotted their they, yeah they slotted themselves so uh, you know they're not supposed to look like that if you didn't know that but, uh yeah but what we think the the pads were so old on there and the pins on the pads done that so so we suspect done it so anyway this side is kind of a pain to get off but uh got the shock off too well got the caliper off rotor off um took the tie rod off got the uh got the, finally got the collar pins out of the two nuts got them loose got them knocked off and loose and then took the spindle off took the shock off and then we'll get all this stuff painted and then go from there so we're back and we got the truck completely taped off and we went ahead and sprayed a quick coat on the radiator sport see what it's going to look like and i think it looks pretty good for uh paint coming out of a can you know you can't beat that yeah so. but we got this the, is not a typical just average spray paint either so yeah but uh we got the inner fenders and all the front suspension tore apart, taped up. We're gonna paint the sides of the frame rails and all that too while we're here. We got the back of the cab all taped up. So, uh, yeah. Add a little bit under the cab and we'll spray a little bit of that. And uh, we're gonna do the, paint the frame and then So we're gonna get the frame painted and then go back and put the front suspension back on which the drop spindles and the uh, new rotors and then we'll paint the dust covers and the brake calipers so everything will be all nice and fresh yeah, and any over spray on any of it will be all clean and then so with that said I guess we're gonna get this frame painted and we'll see you then back the next day gave it plenty of time to dry and I think it turned out really good got everything all sprayed we are gonna have to go back and touch up where the jack stands were but other than that frames painted it is it looks really good so I think it's the second or third one we've done with this type of paint it works really good and so it's got a really good gloss to it still. We can get this thing untaped and start going back together with it.
front end back together finally. It uh, gave us a little bit of problem. If you run a three inch lower in spindle from what we looked up after doing this, uh, you had to bend the brake line a little bit, the metal part of it to make it fit. So just just barely bend it. Just They won't clear yeah. the control arm. So got that done finally. And then uh, you want to put the 15 inch rallies back on it. They won't fit the front. They hit the lower ball joint and control arm. Go to put a spacer on it, still hit the lower control arm. So we're just gonna go get the wheels that's going on this truck, the US mags, put them on there and then get this bed back on this thing and go from there. So we'll do that. back on the ground on the 20s and I think it looks really good I think it turned out good for well so far anyways point, yeah so we'll get the bed on it have a little weight in the back of it yeah but those US mag bullets looking good got a good dish on the back for a 10 wide, for a 10 wide. this is a 10 wide wheel and I mean it's still got some meats you know but yeah yeah, we're gonna get the bed braces cut on there and uh, get this thing out, set the bed back on it, and we'll be back to look at it again. So. Hey, he needs to come this way a little bit. Come this way, so. We can get it set down and You want to scoot it forward, son? So you seen that last clip there? We got the bed set on here, and you know we got to looking at it, and it was just way too high in the rear. Still. Yeah, way too high. It needed an inch or so, at least an inch and a half more out of the back, which we done a five on the back with a three-inch spring anchor, two-inch drop shackle, so. It just wasn't enough for this truck, so we went back that next evening and night, uh, took the overload spring out of it. That did help it a lot. It gave us about 
right at an inch. Yeah, so, so uh, it's doable now. I mean, obviously, I'd rather it be, you know, I'd a rather, lot lower. I'd rather put a 4.6 on this, but 3.5, but it's... We was really cool. going for more of a good ride quality than a real low stance for this one. It'll work. It'll be all right. So, we've got that done. It's setting how we want it for now. And so, uh, what we're going to do next, this will just lead into the next video of this. We're going to prep all this rust on here to get it ready to clear. I think we're going to come in tomorrow morning and clear this truck, spot the blue in on it on both sides, and then uh, get it cleared and hopefully get it back to the shop and we'll start putting it back together. Yeah, get ready for final assembly on so everything. We're going to have this truck done in two weeks from now. I know when it comes out, it probably already yeah, it, to that. So. we got two weeks to get this truck done. And another truck. And another truck. You so, will see it also. So. Yeah, be looking for a couple more videos on well, another video on this one and a whole nother series. And if we didn't mention it earlier, these are US mag bullets, you know, with the machine barrel and part of the face and so it's gray. got a gray face to it. Yeah. The rest of it's kind of a machine. And I really think they fit this truck well. And that being said, it's going to wrap this video up of lowering it, putting the wheels and tires on it. And uh, you know, our next video on it, we're going to be clearing it, putting it back together, getting the inside. Yeah. Getting all the inside back together in it. And then uh, we'll do that and have this thing done. It should so be on. pretty close. Yep. So, so that's going to do it for this one. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you in the next one.